good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. Look at this little teddy cubby bear and I are going to the Cubs game this afternoon. Today they are honoring a league of their own and actually a few players from the actual um, women's baseball league, but there will be some actresses from the movie here throwing out the first pitch, singing the national anthem. Um, and there's a, a, a handful of events going on tonight as well. So Jamesy, it's his nap time and Peter's still working. So we figured we would head on over there. Just the two of us. Um, and I'm excited. Okay, so our first little bit of excitement was this pin giveaway, which I didn't think we'd be here in time for. Oh my goodness. We are in the last, very, very highest seats you can be at Wrigley Field, which is pretty cool because it's still not that high, just the nature of the, the stadium. But these actually wasn't like our typical day to get to have a game. We traded with somebody on like the season ticket holder Facebook page for this special game for a league of their own. Thank you for being my company. Um, but the reason that they're doing this is because it's the 30th anniversary and that's why there's the little 30th on the pin. So I'm just gonna enjoy, listen to this music. You can see them down there taking pictures. Oh, this is so cool. I am geeking out because it's like extra cool because they filmed at Wrigley for like the tryouts in the League of Their Own movie. Like that, it was like one of the oldest ballparks. I think a lot of times Wrigley is used as an old ballpark because Fenway Park, that's older in Boston, has such like the distinct green monster that it's kind of hard to like film it and it not be, hold on, they're starting, but it not be like Boston. So they use Wrigley a lot. And so it's cool, they actually filmed part of the movie where we are. These seats are so high up that you can actually see the lake. How cool is that? song in the movie. I don't realize, like, I don't know if we've really talked about how much A League of Their Own is, like, a personality trait of mine. And it's probably one of my most quotable movies ever. And I am <laughs> just so happy to be here. I'm, like, emotional about it. Uh, my dad would be here for sure. He was so uh, proud of us playing softball and was, like, the president of our, um, our town softball league. It's why that softball diamond is named after him. And he was just like, always did so much work to make sure that the girls in our town had as much as the boys did as far as athletics went, especially especially with the fields for softball. Um, he, made, he made things special, so I'm happy to be here. <laughs>
sorry, Teddy got hungry during the national anthem. So hopefully I got to capture some. But that was Shirley Baker from the movie, her actress, I think Anne Cusack. Um, she's a Chicago native, which I did not know. That is who sang. And she was accompanied by the Little Peaches team from Rockford. Um, so it's kind of cool they keep that magic alive there. Um, if you didn't know, the Rockford Peaches is the team that League of Their Own follows in the movie. Um, but anywho, in very Sarah fashion, my phone is on low battery, so I'm going to throw it in airplane mode um, just to make sure that it's alive by the time Peter is on his way over here with Jamesy. And then comes Paige, Joy, Anthony, Brian, and Cara, the words we all love to hear. Let's play ball. What? You have the egg? Mister, you napped so well, but you also napped through the Cubs game we were supposed to go to. <laughs> okay, you did it. I did it. I did it. You did it. Good job. We have Vampirina on because Halloween, you know. Spooky. All right, so the original plan was for me to take this afternoon off because I was originally supposed to take tomorrow afternoon off to go to tomorrow's Cub game with Megan, Petrus, and Sarah, and they were supposed to come for a wedding, but they can't because Hurricane Ian and everything. Katie's actually stranded elsewhere in the country. She needs to go back to Florida before they can could have even considered coming, but now it's looking like they want to, she wanted to get home until after the wedding. So they're not going to make it to the wedding. So we don't have visitors this weekend. So then I was like, okay, well, today's a League of Their Own Day at Wrigley. That's super special. So I'll take today, I'll take this afternoon off to go. But then I was like, ooh, I had some meetings pop up. And also it was during James's nap. So I was like, Sarah, you go hang out with Teddy, do all the things. When James wakes up from his nap, we'll go then. Well, James had a really good nap, which is really, really good for him and more important than the game. But he woke up like at the top of the eighth. So then I texted her, I was like, hey, there's not really a point for us to rush and get ready and walk over um, to maybe catch the last half inning or inning, especially because we're going back there tonight because now they're, as it's the anniversary of A League of Their Own, the movie, which is why Sarah was there to see all the special cast and all the extra cool stuff, that they're doing a Q&A and a showing at Gallagher Way. So you know how we've seen like Casper there, School of Rock, some other movies. They're showing that movie tonight. So the plan is to, uh, now I'm gonna stay here with James. I'm actually gonna go start cooking dinner. I don't know when I'm cooking, probably. I think I'm gonna start noodles because I think Sarah was thinking about making peanut noodles um, one of these days. So I have to go investigate in the kitchen. So I think I'm gonna get started with that. Then James is here, we're not rushing around because we're gonna they're gonna come home, have dinner, maybe catch Sarah's sister who's gonna come with us tonight to the movie. I'm not sure what time she's arriving, but she might arrive before we leave here for the game or for the show, we might leave after. Um, we'll see there, but. Oh, and the last thing is I'm, I'm taking tomorrow afternoon off because of Teddy's cardiologist appointment. So that like supersedes it all, but that's like, my schedule is like flip flop, flip flop, flip flop with work. But this is the most important is for us to get this cardiologist visit figured out. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Sarah came home and makes this divine pasta dinner in like three seconds. <laughs> I used, made a quick red sauce with tofu um and i don't know why we haven't used tofu as like as a as a meat substitute before but i made it with like green peppers so it's kind of like stuffed peppers but like deconstructed nice like i've got i uh started filming this clip literally as the train stopped like finished going by us but we had to stop so james you could see it because he loves the train he do it's like the mom yeah, we're on our way to, to Gallagher Way mm -hmm. to uh, see a Q&A. Hopefully get a hat. Maybe Tom Hanks will like surprise everybody and show up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't, so my phone died. I need a drink of water so bad, hold on. <laughs> my throat was like. You should stop smoking fat cigars so in the middle dry. of the day. 
I got handed a, something on the streets today. <laughs> yeah, that, you had to be 18 or older. Yeah, it was I like a, it. it looked like a, like a, Five I don't trust energy? anything that says that like this will not show up in a drug test. On the on this website it said that. It was called like Viva Zen. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Completely off topic. <laughs> the seventh inning stretch I missed because my phone died. Well I didn't miss it. You guys missed it. Ooh. <laughs> and it was Marla Hooch, Shirley Baker, and Betty Spaghetti from A League of Their Own. And they were wild. They were having so much fun. It was so great. And they're going to be there at the Q&A. Yeah. And we're going to keep and our fingers crossed that Tom Hanks shows up. Yeah. I also wanted to point out that earlier I said how cool it was that part of A League of Their Own. Is your hand just up like this? What? I also wanted to point out. Like, you also wanted to point out. <laughs> that. Even though it's cool that A League of Their Own was filmed at Wrigley Field, it's cooler <laughs> that tryouts for the All-American Girls Baseball League we're also at Wrigley Field. Like the real thing happened where we were. Do you think Grandma Cookie was? No, but my grandma's cousin was in it. My grandma Ryan. She was. And her name, I'm pretty sure is Dorothy. That's just what I remember. I think but anyways, the name Dorothy in the 40s has to be on the women's <laughs> all American team. But like I was all jazzed about the movie being filmed there when yeah. like the well, actual like the, events, the actual, <laughs> the actual Thing. Do you see how fall like this looks? Yeah. Pumpkins, pumpkins in the patch. Pumpkins, pumpkins on the vine. We gotta get pumpkins. You kidding me? If you can see peeking out right there, the W flag is flying because they won today. I went to the game, obviously. <laughs> obviously I was at the game, but I left after the seventh inning stretch. So we're walking here and I'm like, I don't even know if they won or not. But the W is flying. Hey -oh. Here we go. Oh, I just missed that. There's an advertisement for the event tonight. We're waiting in line. I think we're pretty safe to say <laughs> that we're going to be one of the first 800 people <laughs> to get a hat. But look at those chairs. Why is there a helicopter above us? Because that's the world cares about. A league of their own. A league of their own. All right, we got it, and we got it. There's such, there's They're so, so much. Nice. We were like, we were where they weren't gonna be like nice quality. Yes, but they're embroidered. We got Rockford peaches. And then it says, what's third, over here? That's the 30th sign. But there's no crying in baseball. And this side has the All American logo. Girls, baseball league. And then in the back it says Cubbies. And we got everybody a hat, yeah. and even Aunt Jenna one just in case. Yes, my sister Jenna is meeting with us. Yes. But she's parking or getting off Lakeshore Drive now, parking near our apartment and walking over. <laughs> Crazy kids over there. <laughs> what a beautiful night. Good job. Where are you going? I think the cast is coming out now. Oh, I'm so nervous. Yep, that's them. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming out tonight for this really special event as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the movie A League of Their Own. <laughs> How much baseball means to me. It was all my life because when I was a little girl, we didn't have television. We're just tickled. <laughs> We're very, so happy. Born. And uh, a baseball that I had. Just for a moment, I felt like, oh, maybe I just had an inkling of what Mabel lived. And it was really extraordinary. Is that the night they did the fireworks? Oh, yes. yes, too. It was a magic night. The moment in the movie when the fireworks go off. For the series. And everybody's sitting on top of the dugout. No, they got over 100 girls here, so um, some of you are going to have to go home. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, what do you mean, some of us? Okay, some of them are going home. Some of them are going home. Hey, how did you do that? Excuse me. Hey, hey, you want that? Hello? Did you see me? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. Hello, sweetie pie.
What a good time. Oh, you've been a good kid hanging out with Aunt Jenna? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a great time. Great movie. Good turnout. I love these hats. They're very nice. And it's like feels like fall weather. It's so chilly. Say good night. Good night. Oh, you're sweet. It's a bit late. It was a good day. Fun event at Wrigley. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.